My name is Oluwa Femi Balogun. I have two questions for you, doctor. The first one is the concept of herd immunity. Can you please explain that? And secondly, in terms of the vaccination, does the Nigerian government intend to produce the vaccine? Yeah, Young Jeff is my name. And my question here is, um, there's a rumor in town that people that are producing this vaccine actually are not even making use of it. And they are bringing it down here in Africa to test. So I want to know how true it is. Welcome back. <coughs> the questions have already been asked by the audience. So I guess for your response. Okay, well, for the... Let me begin with my first uh, audience that has this question, the concept of uh, immunity. Um, this word, um, herd immunity, has now become so popular among us. Is actually is a public health terminology. And the best I can explain for you to understand is the word herd immunity is the overall immunity of everybody in a community. As we are all seated here now, the overall immunity that we can have that will protect all of us from the evading COVID-19. Okay. That is just as simply as that. Mm. That is just the basic concept. If you want to repeat it, it's simply the overall immunity, all of us, your immunity, or Mr. A immunity, Mr. Mm -hmm. B immunity, all combined together mm. for us to prevent or, or um, have, uh, prevent the evading COVID-19 um, virus or other evading organism. Okay. So that's just how that's as simple I as know. that. Okay. So in um, concerning question number two from the first uh, from my uh, audience two, um, Nigeria uh, as a country uh, as a, uh, maybe Africa as a whole, we we this federal ministry of health is a part of federal government um, 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 unit. They have they they map out some strategies for us to acquire this vaccine. So one of the strategies um, is um, this multilateral vaccine access programs, and commonly one of them we call it Covas program. So this their function is for them to negotiate how the federal government of Nigeria to acquire this vaccine that we protect all of us. Mm -hmm. For us to have this herd immunity and also and by uh, also prevent this first badge of it maybe provide them um, protect us um, about 20 percent of our population so this covas program is initiated by the federal minister of um, of Hel health, health that will help us to procure mm -hmm. negotiate procure and purchase the vaccine for all of us to mm -hmm. benefit and also prevent mm -hmm. further um, um, infection of COVID-19 virus. virus. So which means we, 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 we are, we, there's no we production not, on our we are not side? Pro, we are not okay. producing for now. So we just uh, map out some strategies for us to uh, uh, okay. acquire this vaccine before okay. we may produce in nearest future. Mm, but for now, now, because of the urgency and for us to acquire this so-called herd immunity, mm. we have to do something urgent. That's why Federal Minister of Health uh, came up with this program okay. so that they will help to negotiate in advance for us to secure some doses of the vaccine mm -hmm. for all of us to okay. benefit. Okay. Um, concerning um, the second one, um, uh, if I, for, 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 for the second uh, audience, um, I think that uh, uh, is a misconception, is a misnomer. Um, is is not like necessarily this if you talk about um experimenting children you can experiment all over the world both africa both uh, asia both mm -hmm. europe everybody mm -hmm. and all the statistics are being gathered and being uh, mapped out mm -hmm. it's not necessarily we are they bringing the vaccine for us in africa as a testing ground so that they will they and will they will not use us, it so that they will not use it. it's just a misconception many okay. studies have been carried out all over the places everybody needs solution most of these developed countries they have a hit of this second wave uh, a COVID-19 pandemic. Africa, we have our own share. So everywhere, everybody, every continent, every country, they are seriously experimenting how best we can tackle this uh, COVID-19 
for everybody to be safe so that economy can move forward. Mm -hmm. We can enjoy our normal social gathering. And have our freedom again. And our freedom. The restrictions ah. becoming too much. We can't do. I can't. Eat, I can't shake anybody anymore. Hey, I can't go I to the I cannot go to any place I'm supposed to go freely. Before. So this restriction is is affecting our daily lives. So everybody is putting measures in place. As uh, people volunteers all over the world, people will just come out. I want to volunteer. Let's see how we are best we can so um survive this pandemic. How to help humanity? Mm -hmm. So it's not actually just within. Nigeria or Africa as a testing the way we believe in before in the polio and other mm. vaccine related mm. uh, diseases. So those concepts, I think our people should, should ignore it and um, uh, follow the what science has um, mm. laid down for all of us in order to um, defeat this um, COVID-19 um, pandemic. I believe this doubt has been cleared now. So those who are carrying this rumor here and there, it's just for the betterment of everyone. Of course, any vaccine that's being developed needs to be tested, but not because they, they who are developing don't want to test. They want to use Africans or whoever to test. That's not it. When it, it, it usually, if any woman cooks soup, she's the one to test the soup she, she prepares. The same way, if they also develop any vaccine outside the country, they also they want to test it first before they show, because they don't want to even drag the name of their country to mud that they produce something that kills exactly many people. So that's just rumor, and we need, we need to do away with, with that. So have you answered all the questions? Yes, I think I'm done. Okay, so this. what's your final, your parting words to our yeah, um, audience? I will, I, what I will advise my audience is, um, I think all of us should go back home, uh, continue with the, uh, the new normal protocols of uh, um, preventing COVID-19 transmission, the goal of everything is just to uh, cut off the chain of transmission so that uh, our society will be safe once again, so that we'll be having our normal freedom once again. Mm. So, and uh, if it comes to the issue of vaccination, I think everybody should av avail themselves the opportunity of coming out to be ejected. There's no misconception that this, va this uh, vaccine will make us to go to hell mm. or will plant ships, on, ships on, in our forehead so that we'll, we'll be in the form of Antichrist. I think we also um, educate our people at home, our old parents, our, um, our people at home, that this COVID-19 is real, that everybody should sit up in order to, to, to defeat this common enemy called COVID-19. Mm. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, Dr. Tiff, you already said it all. Welcome. I also believe that part of this, again, is also for hygiene, for sanity's sake. Let us also practice hygiene. If you keep your surroundings clean too, you also do away with all this. It may be far away from you. So let's, because keeping, uh, practicing hygiene too is washing your hands. Truly, many people just bring anything they grab, they just start eating. They don't even care whether their hands is washed, whether what they are eating is also washed. So with this one, it's just so for us to also practice a kind of hygiene as well. I think that will also uh, help us. We have really dressed so much on this. We treated this topic before living with COVID-19. And today again, we are treating, you know, uh, second wave, this, the, the safety measures as well. So that's the second time we are treating it here. And I believe that we have, uh, through this medium or this platform, we have really probably make, you know, pain people to know about this. We have created awareness. So please, protect yourself and protect those also around you. Having said this, I want to thank the production crew for a job well done, the executive producer, our guests once again, thank you. And You're viewers welcome. out there and audience here too present, thank you for your patience uh, with us. I also want to give, uh, say a big thanks to our sponsors, Orange Insurance Brokers Limited, Orange Printing and Publishing Limited, Micro Investment Support Services uh, Limited, the leasing company, Lab, which is Life Action Plus, and Micro and Gozi Micro Insurance. Thank you for being there for us. Keep watching this review. Same time, same station. Still keep safe. Vivid view, say and do it.
This is Vivi View.